Hey guys, I do have a Monday editorial for you. And this morning's editorial, we're going to Raleigh, North Carolina. Now this homeowner was arrested for having a gun in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And, uh, but he does have a carry permit. He's a club promoter. He says he's uh, been, people have tried to rob him before. So I will put a link to both stories in the description box below the arrest in South Carolina from before and what happened to this homeowner in Raleigh, North Carolina just this week. I'm also going to put a link to the video in the description box below. There is a video in the news story, uh, but just in case it don't play or something, I'll put a link to the YouTube video down below as well of the news story in the description box. Comes to us from ABC 11 out of South Carolina. Thank you, Bill Hutchison of ABC 11 for this story. <clears throat> This is a story about how law enforcement sometimes will tell you, I'm right, you're wrong. You do what I say or you face the consequences. We can do whatever we want because we have a badge and we will justify it in our report. So don't refuse us. You always obey law enforcement. Got it? That's how cops think. And in this one, I think they went too far. I think that there was a, a way to de-escalate this and remedy it and find out who this guy was. But they automatically assumed we got a burglar in his underwear. Let's do this. Because burglars usually walk around in houses in the middle of the day in their underwear. It's kind of like what happened to me on Saturday morning when I had a big white press credential on my neck and I was recording and a CHP officer decided that you do what I tell you or... No, I'm good. Okay, we can go stand over there. No, I can stand right no, here. stand right over there. I'll stand right here. Close to me. Yeah, well, then why don't you get a different job if you don't like people walking around? You got it? I'm a journalist. 148G says I can record the police. Go back and do your job. You don't tell me to stand back there. Yeah, actually I do. Who are because you? I don't trust people that close to me. Back up. Don't you touch me! That's back battery! Up. Do not fucking touch me! Shut up. Get the back to work! Don't you ever touch somebody that's not breaking the law. Do you understand me? You're, not breaking the law. You're gonna get sued! So as you see, uh, law enforcement officers, uh, there are law enforcement officers out there that will tell you what to do. This is what you do. You do it or I'm just going to get on you. Instead of saying, okay, let's assess the situation. Recording. Hmm, he's fine. All right, just stay right there if you would, please. Thank you and walk on. No, they got to, <clears throat> you're going to do exactly what they say. Go stand in the corner, little boy, or no milk and cookies for you. Or I'm going to jump on your ass. You know, that's how they are. That's how they think. Bullies with badges. And I think that may have been what we had here in North Carolina. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, I'm going to put a link to the video and two stories in the description box. Let's get to it. <clears throat> An African-American homeowner says he endured the most humiliating experience of my life. When white police officers answered a false burglary alarm at his North Carolina home, and ended up placing him in handcuffs at gunpoint while walking him to a police car in just his underwear as his neighbors watched. Kazim Oyenenen, I, I'm never going to get that right. Kazim Oyenenen, 31, told ABC News on Saturday of the confrontation with the police at his home in Raleigh. I was counting the seconds because I thought he was going to kill me. He was shaking the gun. All he has to do is slip and hit that trigger and I'm dead. So the cop was like... Barney Fife, you know, we got a bullet in my pocket, you know, <laughs> he said he was shaking the gun. This guy was scared. This cop was about to piss his pants. Rally police officials said the incident is under investigation. Now, the police department from Rally told Durham ABC station WTVD, quote, the department is looking into this incident and reviewing our officers' actions. We have attempted to contact the homeowner several times over the past few days to discuss this incident with him. What happened was Kazim said the episode, episode occurred on August 17th. So I said this week, I apologize, it was August 17th. When a friend who was staying at his home left and triggered the security system. <laughs> Great friend, man. Oh, how do I turn this thing off? He's sleeping. I'm just going to leave. Kazim said <clears throat> he was asleep and didn't hear the alarm as soon as it went off, but his cell phone, which is linked to his security system, sounded and woke him up. Kazim told ABC News 11, I go downstairs, I disengage the alarm. I go back upstairs and I lay down. 20, minute, 20 minutes later, I just hear these loud noises. So I come down my steps, I grab my gun because I don't know who's in the house. 
Kazim said the incident happened at 12.21 p.m. and that he was sleeping because he works nights as a party and hip-hop concert promoter under the nickname Tim Boss. Some any of you in North Carolina heard of him, maybe? Uh, security video in the home, which he shared with ABC News, shows an officer holding a gun in his hand and pushing open the unlocked front door and yelling, Police, if you're inside, make yourself known. Come on out with your hands up. Kazim is heard in the video responding that he had a gun prompting the officer to order him to drop the weapon, step outside the front door. But the homeowner paused in his foyer, began videoing with his cell phone. Good for you. Always record the police. Kazim, that was the right response for that moment. While asking the officer what for, <clears throat> the officer tells Kazim, according to the security video, just turn around and put your hands behind your back and get down on your knees. Now, when Kazin again asked why and tried to explain he was in his own home, the officer still pointing a gun at, gun at him, repeated that Kazim get on his knees and turn around and face away from me. Kazim eventually complied with the orders and the officer handcuffed him. The video shows the homeowner asked to see the officer's supervisor as a police car siren is heard in the background. When a sergeant and two other officers entered the home, Kazim stood up and attempted to explain he owned the home. The sergeant ordered Kazim to sit back down. Kazim tried to tell him he had done nothing wrong. The sergeant told the two officers, take him to a police car. We're going to clear the house. Why do you have to take him to a police car to clear the house? He's in his underwear. Sit him on the couch. Say, stay with him. I'm going to clear the house. Problem solved. Gee, I'm not, I haven't, I only went through a police academy and I know how to, you know, I know I'm smarter than that. These guys have been doing law enforcement and they're going to take this underwear man to the car. We have to take him out of the car in case he does something. He's handcuffed. Put him on the couch to put an officer by him or two officers and just say, we're just going to clear your house. We just want to make sure. <clears throat> Kazim says, quote, while the cop was trying to put me in the car, I'm screaming like, yo, because I wanted want my neighbors to come out and tell them I live there. So the neighbors are just looking through the windows and I'm just humiliated. Nobody wants to say anything. Everybody's just looking. Great neighbors. Great neighbors that you got. Nobody came out and said, yo, yo, he lives there. They're just like, hey, what's going on with Kazim? I don't know, man. <laughs> what the hell? That's probably like, my, I mean, I don't talk to my neighbors, unfortunately. But he said he was sitting in the back of the police car as police searched his house. <clears throat> and this is quite a lengthy story. Again, I'm putting the link to the story in the description box below but i'm going to jump a little here the sergeant is heard on the security video telling his colleagues tell everybody they need to come on out this is the homeowner he was trying to tell you guys that for however many minutes kazim says quote this is one of the most humiliating experiences of my life adding the claim that he doesn't have a criminal record and has a permit to carry a concealed weapon. He wasn't charged, I guess, in Myrtle Beach. Well, he has a concealed weapon even then. <clears throat> I mean, I felt like my character was defamed. I went outside the other day. The neighbors won't even come out and wave at me. They don't know what's going on. They think I'm a whole criminal over here. Kazim said he's just thankful his six-month-old son wasn't at the house at the time of the incident. He says, my son was with his mother at the time. Thank God. Kazim claims officers identifying themselves as being from internal affairs showed up at his house to ask him about the incident after the WTVD, uh, basically ABC 11, did a story about it on Friday, or WTVD did it on Friday. He said he declined to accept their inv invitation to go to the police station and make a formal complaint. That's your fault. That's your fault. He said, they've got me scared. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't know how to trust them. <clears throat> Now, he said he wasn't decided yet whether to seek legal advice or what action to take, but added, I just think people need to be aware of this. This ain't right, and that's true, but you do need to seek legal action, and you do need to make an internal affairs formal complaint, Kazim. Sure, my mic's on. Okay, I don't know what you're thinking. Just get out there and do it. Snooze now, you keep letting you know what's going on in law enforcement across your nation. I'm sorry, I really have to go. Time is cut. Uh, but that's, you know, I want to know what you guys think on that. The links to the story are below. If you've heard about this, if you haven't, you can go watch the video also and read the stories. There's two. The other one is the Myrtle Beach uh, where he got arrested. I want to know what you guys think. Happy Monday. And I will have editorials for you all week. What do you guys think about this one? Starting off the week, great. Thank you, guys.